to dry Even when the sun begins to shine Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you on a complete tour of my kitchen. You guys obviously see this in a lot of my videos. I've had a lot of questions about certain things or comments, so I figured that I would take you guys through and show you my entire kitchen. So a little backstory is that we live in about a hundred year old farmhouse. It's really old and we have really updated it to what we want. This was our last big project. The kitchen is obviously a very expensive thing to remodel. So we waited quite a few years before we did it. But we finally did it and I just love how it turned out. My husband did the entire thing himself. The only thing that we hired out was that we had somebody come in and do the taping for us. But other than that, Kenny built this whole kitchen himself and we designed it and I just love how it turned out. So I'm gonna show you guys everything today, take you through all my cupboards, try and kind of give you guys a rundown of what we really have in our kitchen. I also am going to try and leave some links for you down in the description box of just commonly asked questions. I get a lot of questions about like where my knives are from, pots and pans, just different things in my kitchen. So I'm going to try and leave as many links as I can, but if I miss something, just comment down below and I will try and get a link for you or send you where you can get it from. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and do that. I make lots of what's for dinner videos, cooking, motherhood content, sometimes some cleaning in there, just things to make motherhood a little bit easier. Give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. So this is what you see when you walk into our front door. This is the first room when you walk into our house. We went with very classic looking cupboards. We just did white and then our countertops are like a white and grayish with a little bit of like charcoal in there. I really love how that turned out. And then for some contrast against the white, we ended up going with the black stainless appliances and I really love that contrast. It's just so it's not all like super bright white. I did almost do an all white kitchen, but I'm really glad I didn't. I like that we do have a little bit of black in there as well, but that's kind of an overview of our kitchen. One thing I get a lot of questions about is our corner fridge. People say they love that. It is something that we just kind of came up with because we had a really hard time deciding where to put the fridge. So we ended up just popping it in the corner and I absolutely love it there. It's something very unique about this kitchen and I'm really glad that we decided to do that. But over here we have a little breakfast bar. There actually used to be a wall here. So this big open area, you can see where we left part of the wall up. But yes, there used to be a wall here and we took it down and we ended up making it a breakfast bar. And these I've actually had some questions on. I will leave them for you. These are Ashley Furniture Store bar stools. I had a really hard time finding ones that I liked. But we just have a big overhang there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and dive right into this half of the kitchen and show you everything in the cupboards. So in this area of my kitchen, it's kind of my little baking station. I like to try and have everything baking related over here. I do have my KitchenAid, so I wanna have everything really close to that since I use that a lot for baking. So this set of drawers here is pretty much all of like my smaller baking supplies, measuring cups, measuring spoons, and then I have my KitchenAid attachments there. Hand mixer beaters. This drawer is pretty much all of like the small baking items, you know, cocoa, salt, chocolate chips, baking soda, baking powder. I have our food coloring. You will see that I have a lot of these white bins in my kitchen throughout. They're really cheap. They're from the Dollar Tree, but they work super well for organizing. I have these small muffin, muffin papers and then the larger ones. But yeah, just pretty much all of my baking stuff in there. And then in this one, more baking stuff. I try and keep kind of like the extras of like brown sugar, flour, that kind of stuff here. I have my hand mixer and then just more extra baking stuff back there. And then in this cupboard over here, I also have more baking stuff. So I have these Rubbermaid containers and I use those to store all of like my flour, sugar, all of that. I've had these for years and I love them. I will try and find a link. I would highly recommend them. They're nice and wide so you can get a measuring cup in top. That's why I don't like using jars. I feel like it's hard to get a measuring cup in, but these work super well. And then in the back here, I have just some extra mixing bowls that I don't use very often. More like extra baking supplies. Over here I have baking dishes and then I have a crock pot and my mixing bowl is back there along with a couple extra baking dishes. 
This is kind of just a miscellaneous drawer. I think every kitchen has one of these. It's just like all the odds and ends. I have like a pineapple core in here, my rolling pin. That's for the Instant Pot, a grater. This is for our griddle. You know, we all just have a random drawer full of like kind of the random kitchen junk. And then this is right next to our stove. I just have all of our utensils and I kind of try and divide them a little bit. These again are all from the Dollar Tree. These work really good for dividers for utensils, so that is what I use. I try and keep this pretty organized, but you know, it's not perfect. It is what it is. I did not like go through and reorganize anything. This is just what our kitchen really looks like on a day-to-day -day basis. And then in these drawers, I also have more pots and pans. I, I like having these in drawers. I just think it's really easy to grab. This is where I try and keep most of our like most commonly used ones. And then the bottom drawer is the ones that I don't really reach for as frequently. And then I also just have our extra lids here, which I almost never use, but I try and keep a few extras on hand just in case. And then this little cupboard is again, just kind of a random cupboard. This is a corner cupboard, so it's hard to really get to stuff in here but I have our little popcorn popper. Best thing ever, if you do not have one of those, highly recommend. I have our griddle, it fits really good in here, and then I have just like paper plates, extra storage containers, I have our fire extinguisher in there, some extra cake pans that I don't use, but that is that little corner cupboard. It's just kind of, it's a hard cupboard to get into, so I try and keep stuff in there that I don't use very often. This corner cupboard here is actually Easton's cupboard. This is where I keep a lot of his craft stuff. So we have Play-Doh, this is like paint in here. Then I have markers, crayons, and colored pencils. And then up on top is all of his coloring stuff up there. And then next to it, I have our food savers. Normally these are in the fridge, but I actually am not using them right now because we have like no fresh fruits and veggies. I need to go to the store. Essential oils our blender that's just the Ninja. And then this is kind of our bread, breakfast kind of cupboard. Keep breads here usually. Peanut butter, butter, sugar. That's all of our candy, cause you know my dad keeps bringing East and more candy. I have my greens here from Teamy. And then I have instant coffee because, oh my goodness, I love the whole whipped coffee thing going on right now. Up top I have hot cocoa. These are tortillas, which we use all the time, but that's kind of our little like breakfast bread cupboard. I don't know what you want to call it. And then here's our microwave. To the right of that is our seasoning cupboard. I like to have it right next to our stove. I'm not gonna go through all this, but you know, simple. It's our oils and seasonings in there. And then right next to our stove, I just have all of our oven mitts and like pot holders and stuff like that in there. Down here is all of our baking sheets and cutting boards. Anything that's like long and skinny fits really well in this cupboard. And then moving over to this half of the kitchen, this is where we have the dishwasher. So I try and keep the majority of our dishes up here. It just makes it really easy for unpacking the dishwasher. So we have Corel plates and then we also have like Target cups, Target, some little extra plates up here. So basically just dishes. I can try and link the plates that I use from Corel. I really like them. This is like a teensy tiny cupboard right here. It's super narrow, but it works really well for medications. So on this bottom shelf, I have all of our vitamins. I have like Brindley's vitamin D drops. I have Kenny's vitamins. These are Easton's. He just does this smarty pants toddler. And then I have my prenatals back there. This is Tubby Todd all over ointment. Obviously this isn't really a medication, but I do use this almost every day. Highly recommend it. Over in this little container, I have extra syringes. Second shelf is more medication. So up here is our adult medication, pretty much just like Tylenol, Ibuprofen, Tums. And then over here is like Tylenol, Ibuprofen for the kids. Up top is extras. I do have emergency up there, and then these are just backups of Tylenol and ibuprofen just in case we were to run out. Right next to the dishwasher is kind of just a random drawer. I have like my instant pot manual in here, and then I have some bees wrap that you can use in place of saran wrap. It's just more environmentally friendly. Down here I have my cookbook. This is just like all of my favorite recipes that I've had for years. So a lot of the recipes that you guys see me using are from this. They're just ones that I've found over the years or kind of created on my own. 
and then my Dutch oven. You guys see this in my what's for dinner videos all the time. Back here is kind of a mess. It's just like I have my iced coffee, uh, vases, thermoses, extra storage containers, things like that. But I have all those in there. And then over here is our sink. It is a huge sink. Oh my goodness. It's like the biggest upgrade from our last sink. It's massive. I love it. We almost went with like the big farmhouse sink where it doesn't have this middle divider, but I'm really glad that we didn't because this thing takes forever to fill up. So I can't even imagine if we had like the really big sink that didn't have the divider in it. So I really, really like this one. And then underneath the sink, I have it organized decently, I guess. I have a ton of cleaning supplies. I have them in bins just to make it a little bit easier, but this is kind of like our everyday cleaning stuff. This is all of our dish soap. Yes, I hoard dish soap. Judge me a little bit, <laughs> it's all Mrs. Myers. And then back in the corner, I just have your more like harsher cleaners that I don't use that often unless I need them. Over here in the front, I have just our dishwasher detergent. It's just Cascade. And then I have extra little bags from the store. Back in the back, I have some more like extra scrub brushes and that sort of thing. So just a quick little overview of this little area of our kitchen. This is our little command station. I really love this. This is where I keep my meal plan. I do write it down every single week. And then I have our calendar. Down here is our bill divider sort of thing. And then here is this little caddy that I have. I just have sunscreen in there, markers, pens, hand sanitizer. And then a lot of times I do have our Sani wipes sitting here because when Kenny comes in, he will sanitize his phone right away. So that's kind of our little command station. You may have seen that in my videos before. Over in this corner, I have our Keurig and our little K-cup carousel. I actually used to have this right here, but it just felt very cluttered and very full over here. So I tucked it under the cabinet and it's so much better. I don't know why I didn't do that before. And then up here, I have coffee cups, which obviously go perfect with the Keurig. And then on top, I have wine glasses because y'all know I need those during quarantine, right? Anyone else? <laughs> Any other moms need a little extra wine during this time? I know I am. This is the kids cabinet. Kind of, I mean, it's like organized chaos in here. It's definitely not perfect, but that's kind of their cabinet. And then I have baby bottles and pumping supplies. But honestly, I need to just go through this cupboard and get rid of a bunch of this because I don't pump. Brinley doesn't take a bottle. She doesn't take bottles and I don't pump. So I don't even know why I have this up here anymore. I have our little sterilizer for bottles, which again, I don't use. This is a little silverware caddy, which I sometimes will pull out for parties and stuff but that's kind of our little kids cupboard. It's this corner cupboard and it actually has a ton of storage in it because it goes really far back. And then to the right of the sink for the drawers, this is kind of another random drawer. I have like my planner in here. I have my list in there and then I have some bibs back here, kind of random. I'm not gonna open up this drawer just because it has some paperwork in it, but it's just like keys and paperwork pretty much. This drawer is kind of a coffee and tea drawer, and I actually think I wanna swap those two around. I just think it would make more sense to have this closer to that, but I haven't moved it since I moved the Keurig. Down here in this cupboard is just filled with a lot of stuff. I have my favorite cooler. It's the Picnic Thermal from 31. I have my pump down here, which I really don't use. And then I have bases back there and mason jar lids and just like some extra storage stuff back there too. This little corner cupboard, again, it's just a weird cupboard. It's very far back, but it's hard to really get to anything. But I have all of like our small appliances in here. I have our smaller crock pot. Things like fryer, quesadilla maker, cake pot maker, just like all kinds of those weird little appliances I have stuck in there. It's a really good spot for them since I don't use them that often. And then this little pullout is just our garbage can. Here I have dish cloths, towels, and e-cloths, and then I usually have our rags here. This is kind of another random one. Guys, I'm almost out of coffee. I need to go to the store, but I haven't went because quarantine life. This is a bunch of like my YouTube stuff. I throw my camera in here. I have my hard drive, batteries, that kind of thing. I have bags in there. My camera case is there. See, since we have some extra storage in our kitchen, I have things that aren't just kitchen related. 
I have this is like all storage bags, coolers, that kind of thing. So I have breastfeeding coolers, have a Yeti cooler over there, and just you know, random bags that I need when I'm running out the door or if I need like a cooler bag. In this one, I have my purse in here. I have the diaper bag, and then up there is like all of the kids' hats. This cupboard is not not the cleanest, but it's right next to the door, so it's really easy for me to just grab stuff out of it. And then in this drawer, I have washcloths, bibs, and headbands back here. So that's what's in that drawer, another kind of kid's drawer. And then over here is our island. This is where you see me doing the majority of my cooking and cooking videos. We just have our utensils in here. I got this little divider just from Walmart. A lot of our utensils are actually in the dishwasher right now. Kitchen shears, can opener. These are my favorite knives ever. They're the Kyo Sarah brand ones and they are amazing. I will have them linked down below. You will not regret it, they never go dull. I love, love those. We've had them for years and they work so good. But that's just our utensil drawer. And then down in the actual cupboard part, this is where I keep a lot of my mixing bowls since this is where I do a lot of my cooking. I have like the strainer up there, an extra bowl. These Pyrex bowls I cook in a lot. They just work really good and they clean nice. And then this one is like a measuring cup kind of thing, but it's like a bowl. I don't know what you call it, but I really like it. It's huge. And then it has a lid with it so I can pop it in the fridge if I need to. Kick pans and our little steamers back there. And then we have this little three set of drawers. This is pretty much just all of our little Ziplocs. Wax paper, cling wrap, aluminum foil, press and seal, all that good stuff in there. And then I have our Tupperware. I try to be pretty minimal with our Tupperware, but I'm actually running low. Like I need to pick another container of those up because I definitely need to get some more. And then this is just kind of overflow Ziplocs and stuff, which you can see I actually need to check these because I just ran out of them. So I need to pick some up at the store. I almost forgot about our pantry, but this is what our pantry looks like. We actually built this in, it used to be a door leading down to our basement, but we turned it into a tiny little pantry and I love it. It's so nice having a pantry. But up on top, I have our Instant Pot. I have some wine because quarantine life. I have our air fryer and then I have a cereals, some random beer that my husband has. I don't know why that's there oatmeal, chia seeds. I try and keep most things in jars or containers. It's just easier. I have all of our cans on this little rack, but we actually are really running low. Again, need to go grocery shopping soon. I have noodles, and then I also have some taco shells in there, and then just like extra sauces. As you can see, I actually have my tripod here. It's just easy for me to grab when I'm cooking. And then I keep our vacuum cleaner on the other side. I will also have that link. It's like the best thing ever. If you don't have a cordless vacuum, just, just make the investment. I promise you will not regret it. Down here, I have some granola bars, yogurt bites. And this one, I have little like seasoning packets for cooking. That's Easton snack bin. And then this is just stuff for kind of like cooking for meals. And then I also have some ramen in there. And then down here, I just have some more bins. I have all of our popcorn in here. I have like plain kernels, and then I do have some microwave popcorn back there as well. This is a random bin. I have syrup in here. I have rice in there, ground flaxseed, vinegar, just kind of a lot of random stuff. And then these two bins is where I keep onions, potatoes, and sweet potatoes. Down on the bottom, this is all of my vacuum attachments, and then I also have my mop heads in there. This actually needs to go in our fridge. I don't know why it's here. <laughs> and then I have our water. We do have reverse osmosis, but sometimes it's nice to just like grab a bottle of the water as we're going through the door. And then my vacuum. So that is our little pantry. Well, that is it for this kitchen tour. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you go ahead and leave me a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Click subscribe if you have not already. I would love to have you. I do lots of what's for dinners, cooking, cleaning, motherhood, all of that type of content. So make sure you're subscribed. But that is it for today's video. I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. As a young girl, it feels we're mine. We played hide and seek for hours. Raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free. Without a care